Hi everyone, this is Black Rock Beach, just east of Brighton. I've come out of London for the day just to sort of blow off the cobwebs after a pretty intense week at work and obviously in politics and the world as usual. So um, it's really nice, it's quite grey, a little bit drizzly, but not too cold today. Anyway, I had a few updates I want to give for the coming week. First of all is just a few astrology things. So remember Neptune's been going direct since the 1st of December and it had been retrograde since the 25th of June. So this is saying that more people, more and more, will be willing to listen to and trust their intuitive feelings about things. Um, then we've got 18th of December, full moon at 27 degrees of Gemini. This one's saying to communicate, use technology to connect with people, and it's shining a light on the media. So um, bringing more clarity about around and about the honest reporting of stories. 19th of December, Chiron's going direct for the first time since July 15th. So Chiron is the wounded healer. This is about healing. We've had the wounding for sure. And now with this direct motion, it's time to heal that, but carry the lessons from the wounding with us. Then 24th of December is the third Saturn Uranus exact square. We had the first in February and the second in June. So this is the clash of Uranus and Saturn. Um, the old and the new, tradition versus innovation, freedom versus control. And the outer planet wins, Uranus wins, um, eventually. That's the way it works. Um, I'm looking here at January 18th because that's the date that Uranus goes direct. So I think coming out of this clash on, on and around the 24th of December, with that forward motion of Uranus, we really are going to see the results of that with the, um, the new and the free and the innovation winning. Um, one other thing, 28th of December, Jupiter moves into Pisces until the 10th of May next year. So um, with Neptune ruling Pisces, that's really links into what I said about Neptune going direct for the past three weeks. Um, it's just magnifies this sense of people knowing when something's right and trustworthy and trusting in it. So lots more people seeing the truth and fighting for it. Now, the idea that came to me this week was love and fear. I'm going to read you, because I um, would normally have this on my laptop screen, but I'm going to read you the uh, Michael Lernig poem, Love and Fear, because I definitely found myself dropping into fear during the week. So, there are only two feelings, love and fear. There are only two languages, love and fear. There are only two activities, love and fear. There are only two motives, two procedures, two frameworks, two results. Love and fear, love and fear. So, like I say, with things in the news in the UK, with the announcement of Plan B, um, which includes V passports, um, I definitely dropped into the frequency of fear and had trouble getting out of it during the week and I know a lot of other people did too. Um, I had lots of worry about how much worse things will get, how much influence we actually have um, over the outcome with our pushback and that's not a good place to be for too long. So I've kept that poem in mind reminding me when I drop into fear instead to go into love go into the thoughts, the feelings, the emotion, the vibration of love. Because according to, if you know it, David Hawkins' scale of levels of consciousness, which is a scale of emotions from zero up to a thousand, and the frequency that they vibrate at, fear is at about 100 or 150, and love is at 500. So we want to get our vibration high. Love, joy, and peace all vibrate above 100. Fear, anger, and hate all vibrate down around 100. And you know, the people doing evil in our world at the moment, they're all vibrating below the threshold of 200, which is what we want to get above. At 200, we get courage, and then we move on from there, like I said, to love, joy, and peace. So <clears throat> remember, this is um, an energetic spiritual war. So we're going to win it 
using energy rather than with physical force. And the way to do that is to keep our vibration and like the motives behind everything we do in love rather than fear. Okay.